Honeycomb Bowamina. It's 1877 as I'm back to my GSG Vikimon America playthrough for the first time in a couple weeks as I'm continuing the simulation. Here we go, got up to speed. I already decided when I'm gonna um start working on once we unlock Iron Bleach Lowered Rifles. Yeah, it sucks one of our generals just died. And of course I'm working on our um our um, mate our fleets and stuff, which I renamed all of them to our West Coast Fleet, our West Coast Fleet, our American Fleet, and our African Fleet at the moment. And, um, where was, oh yeah, it's fr I don't think that was it, though, I wanted to research. Let me check around. Yeah, it must have been it. Alright, so, um, now that I think of it, let's see a tech, because we're getting close to being on the colonize again, so we need colonial negotiations in the Dark Continent. I think, Dark Continent, I don't believe, is not till 1900. And colonial negotiation, I don't think that was till um, 1880. Yeah, so we gotta wait till 1880. We need economic responsibility. We haven't gotten that yet, really? Oh well, I'll do. I'll get that after I research this. This is a quick tech. It shouldn't take that this June. Okay, after that we'll get economic responsibility. Wow, that's a really long ass tech. Holy shit, that's a long time away. And of course, I don't think I can go to war with anyone at the moment because I think I have too high um infamy. I mean, I'm trying to think of, like, what could I attack, like, I'm thinking about maybe going after, going to war with Mexico again very soon, to get some more territory from them. When mine up, we can, um, do two Sicilies now. Wouldn't mind taking over some more of Africa, but, unfortunately, it's not really a good enough case at the moment to do. I also thought about off-screen some time ago, since I was, since I went to war with them, and I, oh, that's right, I went to war with them before, but... It was off screen. I mean, I'm off. Um, I filmed it before, but unfortunately, game crashed. So I had to get rid of it. Cause, like I said before, one time I was filming the series, Japan somehow got Alaska, and I went to war with them and won it from them. And unfortunately, the game crashed on me when I was sending the troops back home, so that didn't happen. And then when I restarted filming the series, I was able to get the Alaska purchase this time around, so didn't have to go to war with Japan this time. But that gave me an interesting idea of maybe. Like, going to war with Japan and maybe breaking them up a bit, which would be kind of interesting since they're going to be our main rival, like, in the Pacific and such. As, for, of course, we just got Hawaii, like, I think it was last year, too, so we're trying to get them become a... I think they already are a state. Yeah, they are a state, because, um... I think everyone's a state except for, um, Nevada, pretty much. And those African colonies in Tunisia and, um, down there, too. Maybe once in lines, we're not going to accept it. What am I taking Puerto Rico from that too, since we do have that in real life, but not at the moment. I'm sure one day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ain't it Hong Kong? Oh, wow! The British got a huge chunk of China. Holy crap! Along with getting Hong Kong. Wow. I don't even think they. I guess they. Oh, that's right. So there's another territory of um, Canton that they haven't gotten yet. And of course, they got to go to War of Portugal to get that. I think we can actually go to... Oh, that's right. We have too high a relationship to do that with Korea. Of course, they won't accept an alliance. Man, Japan really hates us. Because we're about to unlock you very soon. And, of course, let's go see how our factories and stuff are doing. Hey, got some extra prestige. So, um, let's see. One of the things we were working on was immigration. Oh, that's right. We're attracting immigrants to a couple states and stuff. Um, I'll try, we're trying to get capitalists going in America and Alaska. Although, we don't, I don't think we got much territory, unfortunately. Me, I'm troops up there. Me, I'm troops. Population! Jesus, since the word wouldn't come to my head. As we're now going to research economic responsibility next April. Okay, that's not too long. That's actually pretty quick for tech so more, more recent. Fix a relationship with Korea. Alright, so. Let's see. Our, how are our ships doing? Fucking Kick this out of Greece again, fucking British. Alright, so... Got a bunch of commerce rares being built up. Oh, yeah, um, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, they're still being worked on, that's right. Actually, I think those are in, um... Africa, I think they're down here, actually. I think it was right here. No? Huh. I guess... Ah, so we got, um... We got a, um... East, me, Northern, me, Mediterranean fleet starting to build. Huh, interesting. As well, do this. Basra, ain't that Turk? Um, Iraq. 
Oh, that's right. I think there was a Mediterranean crisis happened before, in um, a couple years ago, where they tried to where our Mesopotamia tried to form, if I remember correctly. And of course, since it's since that's in um, well, that's actually in Asia, but involves a European country, so it involves all of Europe. I can stay out of it, which of course I am. I have no interest in. Who gives a fuck what happens there? And of course, no one happened yet. We're gonna try and increase our relationship with now the Ottomans. So where are they at? Oh, we're neutral with them. Now we're. Come on, pressing the enter. Jesus Christ, cordial with them finally. And nope, I'm not helping out there. Don't give a shit enough about um what happens with, with um Mesopotamia. <clears throat> Need a drink. So I'm just looking around. What's going? On. That's a little funny how Chile's got that territory, but they're not. They're split off pretty much right here. I think Ar Ar I think for Argentina and Chile they get those as events. I remember my um, I did an Argentina game on Pop Demand, and I got all that territory right down there as um events and stuff like um up here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Turkey gave up, huh? So I Mesopotamia now is independent, huh? I like that interesting. Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna pause and start trying to influence them. Whoa, ha, 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 ha. And speak to which, start trying to help them build railroads. Try and weaken them from the Turks. Okay, I guess I already built the railroads right up there. Wait a minute, what about that? Okay, I didn't do that here. That's right, okay. Alright, so, trying to influence Mesopotamia as we'll work on the railroads down here in Cyprus, too. Which I guess I missed. Oh, actually, I think they got independence a while ago. I just didn't pay attention do them as well. Alright, so... As the almonds are losing strength each dec- like each decade pretty much hit. As, oh my god, our population just exploded pretty much. Jesus. So let's see, Nevada. Where are you at? Okay, let's see. You got- Hey, 66%! Alright! We're finally starting to get some progress for Nevada, so maybe we can finally um, have Nevada join so we can have 52 states, Ned. All the content, 48 continental states, Alaska and Hawaii, although Alaska's not fully colonized yet, Cuba and Haiti. And then, of course, once you guys um, ever become a state, which I don't think is ever going to happen because your population's so small. It's, I mean, well, it's not too small. It's too big to um, um, assimilate into Americans, pretty much, in this game. So I don't think these guys will ever become states. But Central Africa or the Saharan stuff, that can become a state most likely. Okay, where's the okay naval base right there? I guess the um the forts are already built up as max possible at the moment. <clears throat> it was all stuck up, all right. So um, fix our relationship with Kong. I mean Belgium as they went from a um communist. I, don't know, I actually think it was a socialist government they had to now a liberal government again. So we're out. Oh, there's a rebel rebellion going on somewhere. In our spheres, we'll kick out Germany. As that will end our year, got an extra bit of prestige. As now do Chile. As uh, kick out Austria Hungary. Ecuador now. Kick out. No, uh, Austria Hungary is already hostile. Alright, kick out Germany. As now in Peru. Kick out. I guess Japan, since we're trying to get, like, pissy with them. And then finally, Fiji. Kick out... Guess... No, I, I think I'll just do Japan since they're close to the Pacific as well. And it's... Oh, there's rebels going on in Chile. Well, what's going on there? I guess I... I, I try to think I have... Oh, yeah, that's right. We're allies with them. That's right. I forgot. So what's going on? Oh, they have socialist rebellion going on, huh? I want. I get. That's why I think in this game when socialist rebellion happens, you get a lot, lot of prestige, and um, lo lose a lot of respect for all the uh, um modern countries. So um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, create a general. I'm curious. What's our? Okay, we got a lot of troops up here in Washington. We'll split you off and send you up. Some of you up to New York. How many you are? No light ships. Okay, it's time to start building some light ships in um, the Americas. Alright, so. 
focus on you guys because we need to keep our navy as like balanced as possible. There we go. We got 18 commerce raiders being built in the Atlantic fleet as that's going to be built up. So that's going to end the episode off here as we get closer to 1880 when we can start colonizing. So Johnny.